Confirmation hearing also mobilizing people here on the Central Coast. A rally held in support of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford in Monterey today. Action News reporter Christopher Salas was there. He's live now with more. Yeah, and those demonstrators really wanted to emphasize that they're not only in support of Christine Blasey Ford, but all survivors of sexual assault. Several dozen demonstrators lined Del Monte Avenue Wednesday. Signs in hand showing opposition to Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, but mostly in support of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. I think that right now Dr. Blasey Ford is the most courageous woman by speaking up. Esther Hobbs organized Wednesday's rally, hoping to empower women. So in the past week, I had about 25 different women come to me and tell me why they didn't ever report their stories. And I realized that this is a situation that's far more prevalent in our society. The rally comes less than 24 hours before Thursday's dramatic scene in the Senate when Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh and his accuser Christine Blasey Ford both testify. President Trump weighed in on Wednesday, calling the accusations a partisan attack by Democrats. And they know it's a big, fat con job. And they go into a room and I guarantee you, they laugh like hell. The number of accusers is now up to four, Kavanaugh denying all the allegations made against him. It's totally false and outrageous. Never done any such thing, known about any such thing. But tomorrow, Kavanaugh will face off with just the first of his accusers, a moment Hobbs and those in Monterey say will define the country. And I said to myself, this is a really key moment in history to come together and join in solidarity with Dr. Ford and other women who are speaking up now. Now, tomorrow's hearing will go as follows. We'll have opening statements from the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, and we'll also hear from Senator Dianne Feinstein. Then both Ford and Kavanaugh will deliver their opening statements, followed uh, by them both being questioned, respectively. Dan Aaron. All right. All right. Thank you, Christopher. Tomorrow, we'll have live coverage of the Kavanaugh hearing on Action News Sunrise beginning at 630. We'll also be live streaming it on our Facebook page and on our website, KSBW.com. <laughs>